Hello, this is Turbo Coco team, and we're gonna show how Delphi developers can build compact, fast, true native UI UX apps for iOS, macOS, and Android. If you are able to use Delphi for Windows development with a VCL, it'll take only three steps to make your mobile apps natively. First, we are using regular Delphi with the Turbo Coco to start a new project. The project will be 100% in Object Pascal. Then right from Delphi, we are launching Android Studio and use it to design an UI. We are using Android Studio as a form designer only, no Java, no Java coding at all. After designing the form, we go back to Delphi and Turbo Coco includes the native form into the project. The only thing we need is to code the business logic and object Pascal. We can also use data modules, fire deck, and any other non-visual components, as well as all the Delphi RTL power. And before we start showing YouTube Coco in action, let me please summarize. Delphi is still your favorite development tool, while Turbo Coco lets you make your apps truly native. Non-visual components, data modules, data access components, legacy code, all is yours. Step number one. I've run already Delphi 10.1 Berlin and then I start a new Turbo Coco project from scratch. File, new, other. Then I'm selecting the Turbo Android project. I have the only option, option single activity application. Press OK. Then I need to define some project name. Let it be Turbo One. Then I have to select the folder to locate my project. Let's consider the content of the project, Turbo One. This is our project. Then we have some past files included into the project. Main activity, Turbo One, export.pass and Turbo One R.pass. The only file we need to edit is main activity pass. We can consider the activity as a form. Uh, that's typical for Delphi. At this point, we needn't change or touch or modify something. We have just a prototype of our project and then it's a recommended step is to launch Android Studio and then start designing the UI. We go to Project Manager, then click right button and then launch Android Studio. Then we need to, uh, to wait a little because it's the first run. And now we are in Android Studio. Of course, uh, its launch is not as quick as Delphi, but anyhow, the ID is quite comfortable for us Delphi developers. Now we can see the um, design of the form or activity with the visual components located at the Palette is located on the left side, and the object inspector is um, located on the right side. Let's make something very simple. We go to the components list, find plain text, and drag and drop onto the form the plain text component. Then we go to widgets, find button, and drag and drop this guy. Plain text view. The components there are really similar to what we have in Delphi. Once we located some component, or sorry, widget, onto the form, we can go to the properties pane to change some properties as we need. For edit text or edit, we can find some good properties to change with some sensible effect. For example, let's find ID. This is, a, this is one of the main properties. So let's change it for edit1 as we typically have in Delphi. Then we go to text and type in something like enter your name. For button1 we are doing the same like select the component, go to the to properties, pin, change the title or caption for my button, then let's see the text and check the ID. 
id's button will be button1 as we have in Delphi. And now we define the button1 click as the responder to onClick event. For the last component, we will change only ID property, let it be label1. Then press save button and go back to Delphi to complete the coding. Here in Delphi, we need to type some code lines like IB action and then procedure button one click ID pointer. Then we are pressing Ctrl Shift plus C. We have uh, some blank procedure and then we can uh, what? Take the data from the UI designed in Android Studio, then make some changes with the strings and send the result back. Let's define the references in the object Pascal code to refer and to be bound with the UI controls. So for our edit one, we have edit one. J edit text for label one we have J text view and we needn't any reference to a button because the only what we need from the button is button one click. Let's add some temporary variable to make easy our concatenation of the strings then I just I've just already typed some code it's easy to understand because we are binding the label 1 as the Delphi reference to the label 1 which is the ID of UI control the same with edit1. Of edit1, this is the object Pascal variable re reference, and this is the ID in Android Studio of our widget. So uh, some routine is uh, in between, like find view by ID. That's uh, it's quite uh, understandable. And finally, a couple more lines from my clipboard with, uh, of course, explanation. Uh, in this line, we can see how to get object uh, to get string from edit one, and then convert to from Java string to Delphi string. It's quite of quite a routine operation. And finally, we need to do uh, a reversed operation. So we are taking the Pascal string and then convert from Pascal string to Java char sequence. We need to do this to get the proper arguments to set text function. So the only thing to do is to update our file. You needn't do this uh, constantly, but from time to time, if you feel that something should be uh, synced manually, just update our .pass file. Then the only thing to do is to build the project, and the project is built by Delphi compiler. In Delphi, we can close Android Studio. We are using the Delphi toolchain, and finally we have a true native Android application. Project built. The resulting app is true native, only native controls and native architecture. It's fast and compact. Visit our site to find more information and great sample projects. Bye.